Welcome to Colette Tech. You're watching an install tutorial for the ProCut 2 mount. This tutorial covers all ProCut 2 mounts that we offer for full face helmets. There are some minor variations for each helmet model, but we'll cover that in the appropriate area. To begin, remove the pad from the top of the helmet. Mark the mount placement by starting with the visor closed. Place the removable adhesive template as close to center as possible. Using the drill jig, Mark where you would like the front of the mount to be placed with a line. Keep in mind that where you choose to place the mount may also limit the extent to which the visor will open. Using a string drawn over the helmet, mark the center. It can help to have a second set of hands for this step. While holding the drill jig centered on your line and center mark, use the provided drill bit to drill the first outer hole. Insert the bolt temporarily and hand tighten the wing nut. Drill the outer hole on the other side. Insert the bolt and hand tighten the wing nut. Finish by drilling the two holes in the middle. You can now discard or store the template, jig, and bolts. Depending on where you've chosen to place your mount, Velcro tabs for the top pad may have to be peeled up and moved. If they are near the mount holes, carefully peel it up and stick it in a location that does not interfere. If the Velcro interferes, the cutaway will still work, but it may cause it to be harder to pull. Choose which side of the helmet the cutaway cable needs to be on. Insert the cable between the helmet shell and the pad. On the KISS helmet, the opening is very small and may require close inspection at first to find the opening. Further secure the cutaway handle loop by pointing the loop towards the back of the helmet. This is important for the handle to avoid catching on bolts or hardware inside the helmet. Further tuck the handle between the pad and the shell while leaving enough to easily access the handle for a cutaway. Velcro tabs are included and may be used as needed to further secure the handle. The pin should now be loosely sitting in the top of the helmet. With the tensioners in the open position, insert them into the base. It may help to use a piece of string, much like a pull-up cord, to pull the loops through the base. With the tensioners still in the open position, place the base on the helmet by matching the holes to the base and pull the loops through the shell. Again, it may help to use a piece of string as a pull-up cord. You're almost done, but the next step is important, so pay close attention to the position of the pin relative to the tension loop. Insert the pin through both loops. It is important that the pin is not inserted past the first loop. The pin is also clearly labeled that it should not be inserted past the steel pin at any point. Using the Allen key, insert it into the tensioner and remove it a few times to ensure a tight fit that will still allow proper removal of the key. It is designed to be a tight fit. With the Allen key inserted in the tensioner, close the tensioner on both sides using both thumbs to assist in closing. This will place tension on the closing loop and secure the mount base to the helmet. If strings were used as a pull-up cord on the loops, remove the strings and replace the top pad in the helmet. Place the top mount piece on the base and insert the camera case. Choose the appropriate camera angle before inserting the bolt. To avoid damaging the detente when adjusting the camera, lift up on the camera, adjust the angle, and push back down to re-engage the detente. Forcing the camera angle to change with the detente engaged could lead to damaging the detente. Finally, insert the camera bolt and washer through the mount and tighten. For proper care of the mount, avoid using in temperatures above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Just as with your main and reserve closing loops, regular inspection of the tensioning loops is recommended. If parts become lost or worn, please contact Colette Tech for replacement parts or support.